Thank you for tuning in to the Forest Production Powerlifting channel. My name is Lawrence Malchev, and this is the second peak, which is another five weeks of training where the weight gets a little bit heavier. Not too much, though. I'm still rebuilding after the uh, super large weight cut. And still got some hip mobility issues today, but the depth is there. Now I just have to get that drive out of the hole a lot more steady because the bar path wasn't exactly where I wanted it, but the depth was there today. No questions about it. This passes in the USAPL or I'm just going to get robbed. Yep, definitely that one passes. And I'm on to the working sets. Now in the working sets, after looking at the, um, at the top set there, I want... I want this bar path business to begin uh, straightening out as fast as possible. So I think I need to play with foot position a little bit. You see how as soon as I begin the descent, the barbell is coming forward a little bit. And um, this was the first of three sets of six. And so what I'm doing is in my mind, I'm thinking about my scapulas staying over the middle of my feet and I'm taking each rep extra slow so I can build the right muscle motor patterns in other words I'm trying to build muscle memory so that when I get to the meat and I have 10 more squat days under my belt all with very meticulously uh, uh, performed squats going into the meat and if my first and second attempt are picked correctly, are chosen correctly, then I can go nearly balls out for the, for the uh, final squat attempt and let the chips fall where they may. But it's all about going nine for nine, having every single lift pass with three white lights, In order to uh, say, you know, you're really, really a focused lifter. So it's kind of like a perfect game in baseball, except a uh, perfect game in baseball is much, much more difficult. Now, a Facebook acquaintance said that I have some butt wink going on there. And butt wink is when the lower back rounds out. See how the lower back rounds out? Look at the lower back. One man, just one round. Rounding right there. Now, it's not too much rounding, but it would be nice to have no rounding at all, get to depth. Now, I'm thinking about a lot of stuff. I'm thinking about pressing my back into the barbell. And, you know, it's a working process. So I don't want to bore you with all that, but uh, bench felt strong as hell today. Hey, coach, yeah, we can talk more about the uh, about that squat because I have to do this narration here. Uh, unless you know what was on my mind, this 200 just basically uh, I flexed my quads and gave it the best push that I could, and I think that was pretty doggone fast. And I wanted to show you here, Coach, uh, that I considered 175 um, child's play. And so I decided to just take five seconds worth of rest because I'm doing five reps. So that's kind of how I decided on what my rest periods were going to be is the number of reps per set. Nice, big, deep breaths in between each, uh, in between each set. To really oxygenate the, um, the, the, the muscles as, as, as good as I could do it before hitting the next set. And I did this one with flat scapulas just to really stress the chest and the front delts and the triceps. 
But on the next set, I get back to being tight. And I had some really good burning in the in the arms and chest on the on the third set because of the short breaks and because I wasn't uh, I wasn't setting up the structure super strong. I was letting you know the the triceps and the delts and the chest do all the work. Uh, took the lats completely out of it because I wanted just a little bit of that uh, tricep work, a little extra tricep work, a little extra pec work, a little extra front delt work. But back to uh, nice tight form. As you see, the barbell moved super fast again. Yep. And right about now, I got a real good burn going on in those triceps. And feeling pretty good about life. Yep. All right. One, two days. Two, two days. Three, two days. And keep that double overhand working on the grip strength 380. You got it, buddy. Then you compare this. We got three second lift compared to a two second lift. Hmm. And I wanted to get uh, some volume in with 320 because I was just going to step back for three seconds and hit and hit it again. I lost count, so I did an extra one, but I'm keeping the double overhand just to get some more grip practice. And thank you guys for watching. My name is Lawrence Malchef. This concludes another day in the training life of a power lifter named Larry. And thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.